So you just bought yourself brewing's favorite fermenter. Well, welcome to the Mini Brew family. When you receive your kit, you'll notice some assembly is required. In this video, we will walk you through the setup and best practices for your Mini Brew Conical Fermenter. Take note that all assembly instructions will be emailed to you when you purchase your fermenter. But you can also find them at minibrew.com. Let's get started so we can get brewing. Upon taking your fermenter out of the box, clean everything thoroughly with a good detergent. Rinse until all traces of soap and chemicals are removed. Sterilize with any of the standard agents available. We prefer 180 degree water as it sinks into the plastic, valves and fittings, killing all bacteria. Begin by laying out all your parts to ensure nothing is missing. Start by assembling the fermenter's support rack. Screws, cap nuts and any washers needed are for the two hoops. Bolts and nuts are for the wedges. Take the hoops and legs. Use the nuts and bolts to join the legs to the outside of the hoops. Finger tighten for the moment. Now add the support wedges. Make sure you put them in the right direction, as if pointing towards the ceiling. Now that everything is assembled, it's time to tighten everything up with a 10 millimeter wrench. Now onto the tank. Start from the bottom up. You might need a little help putting together the dump valve assembly, especially on our bigger tanks. Find the right fitting and slip on the red food grade washer. Make sure the ribs, those tiny lines on the gasket, are always facing the tank. At this moment, you should use industrial Teflon tape to ensure a tighter seal and easier disassembly. Now insert from the inside, then place another gasket with the ribs facing towards the tank. Now keep in mind, our bulkheads have a reverse thread so you'll have to turn counterclockwise to tighten. Once the bulkhead is on and tightened, thread one end of the male hex nipple into the international threads of the easy sealed weldless bulkhead. Once tightened and secure, thread the one end of the ball valve into the remaining male thread on the nipple. After the bulkhead is installed and tightened by hand, you can tighten a little more to snug. However, you do not want the gaskets bulging to a point that the ribs on them are not providing the additional sealing capabilities they provide. Repeat these steps to install the racking port valve, only this time use two gaskets on the outside of the tank. Remember over tightening is not always better and might actually create an inferior seal. Add the hex nipple, more tape and screw the valve in place. For bigger tanks, 8 gallons and up, you'll need to install the thermometer. Put in the bulkhead as you did for the two others, using industrial Teflon tape and gaskets with lines facing the tank. Then tape up the threads on the thermometer and screw it into the bulkhead. Once assembled, clean again. Rub the inside thoroughly with a soft cloth and a non-abrasive cleaner. A Teflon type cleaning pad can also be used, but always be careful to remove all residues from inside the mini brew fermenter after use. Our tank walls, six tenths of an inch thick, are completely inert and will not absorb any bacteria. All surface residues should be removed. Cleaning and sanitizing is extremely important to ensure your beer makes it to the glass. And that's it. Enjoy your new mini brew fermenter. Cheers. That was actually really easy to put together. <laughs> <laughs>